every thought you think and every word you speak is being responded to and the point of power is in this moment. The thoughts you are thinking and the words you are declaring at this moment are creating your future. Your mind is a tool. You are much more than your mind. You may think your mind runs the show, but that is only because you have trained your mind to think in this way. You can also untrain and retrain this tool of yours. Your mind is a tool for you to use in any way you wish. The way you now use your mind is only a habit, and any habit can be changed if we want to do so. Quiet the chatter of your mind for a moment and really think about this concept. Your mind is a tool you can choose to use any way you wish. The thoughts you choose to think create the experiences you have. If you believe that it is hard or difficult to change a habit or a thought, then your choice of this thought will make it true for you. If you would choose to think, it's becoming easier for me to make changes, then your choice of this thought will make that true for you. There is an incredible power and intelligence within you, constantly responding to your thoughts and your words. As you learn to control your mind by the conscious choice of thoughts, you align yourself with this power. Do not think your mind is in control. You are in control of your mind. You use your mind. You can stop thinking those old thoughts. When your old thinking tries to come back, saying it's so hard to change, take mental control. Tell your mind, I now choose to believe it is becoming easier for me to make changes. You may have this conversation with your mind several times before it will acknowledge that you are in control and that what you say goes. The only thing you ever have any control of is your current thought. Your old thoughts are gone. There is nothing you can do about them except live out the experiences they cause. Your future thoughts have not been formed and you do not know what they will be. Your current thought, the one you're thinking right now, is totally under your control. You know, if you have a little child who has been allowed to stay up as late as it wishes for a long time, and then you make a decision that you now want this child to go to bed at eight every night, what do you think the first night will be like? The child will rebel against this new rule and may kick and scream and do its best to stay out of bed. If you relent at this time, the child wins and will try to control you forever. However, if you calmly stick to your decision and firmly insist that this is the new bedtime, the rebelling will get less and less. In a few nights, the new routine will be established. It is the same with your mind. Of course it will rebel at first. It does not want to be retrained. But you are in control. And if you stay focused and firm, in a very short time the new way of thinking is established. And you will realize that you are not a helpless victim of your thoughts, but rather a master of your own mind. Let's do an exercise, letting go. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. As you exhale, allow all the tension to leave your body. Let your scalp and your forehead and your face relax. Let your tongue and your throat and your shoulders relax. Let your back and your abdomen and your pelvis relax. Let your breathing be at peace as you relax your legs and feet. Is there a big change in your body? Notice how much you hold on. If you are doing it with your body, you're doing it with your mind. In this relaxed, comfortable position, say with me, I am willing to let go. 
I release all tension. I release all fear. I release all anger. I release all guilt. I release all sadness. I let go of all old limitations. I let go and I am at peace. I am at peace with myself. I am at peace with the process of life. I am safe. Repeat this exercise several times. Feel the ease of letting go. Repeat it whenever you feel thoughts of difficulty coming up. It takes practice for the routine to become a part of you. Chapter 7, How to Change. I cross bridges with joy and with ease. I love how-tos. All the theory in the world is useless unless we know how to apply it and make a change. I have always been a very pragmatic, practical person with a great need to know how to do things. The principles we will be working with at this time are nurturing the willingness to let go, controlling the mind, learning how forgiveness of self and others releases us, releasing the need. Sometimes when we try to release a pattern, the whole situation seems to get worse for a while. This is not a bad thing. It is a sign that the situation is beginning to move. Our affirmations are working and we need to keep going. Example, we are working on increasing prosperity and we lose our wallet. We are working on improving our relationships and we have a fight. We're working on becoming healthy and we catch a cold. We're working on expressing our creative talents and abilities and we get fired. Sometimes the problem moves in a different direction and we begin to see and understand more. For example, let's assume you are trying to give up smoking and you are saying, I am willing to release the need for cigarettes. And as you continue to do this, you notice your relationships are becoming more uncomfortable. Don't despair. This is a sign of the process working. You might ask yourself a series of questions like, am I willing to give up uncomfortable relationships? Were my cigarettes creating a smoke screen so I wouldn't see how uncomfortable these relationships are? Why am I creating these relationships? You notice that the cigarettes are only a symptom and not a cause. Now you are developing insight and understanding that will set you free. You begin to say, I am willing to release the need for uncomfortable relationships. Then you notice the reason you're so uncomfortable is that other people always seem to be criticizing you. Being aware that we always create all of our experiences, you now begin to say, I am willing to release the need to be criticized. You then think about criticism, and you realize that as a child, you received a lot of criticism. And that little kid inside of you only feels at home when it's being criticized. Your way of hiding from this had become creating a smoke screen. Perhaps you see the next step as affirming, I am willing to forgive. And as you continue to do your affirmations, you may find that cigarettes no longer attract you and the people in your life no longer criticize you. Then you know you have released your need. This usually takes a little while to work out. If you are gently persistent and are willing to give yourself a few quiet moments each day to reflect on your process of change, you will get the answers. The intelligence within you is the same intelligence that created this entire planet.
trust your inner guidance to reveal to you whatever it is you need to know. In a workshop situation, I would have you do the following exercise with a partner. However, you can do it equally as well using a big mirror. Think for a moment about something in your life you want to change. At the mirror, look into your eyes and say aloud, I now realize that I have created this condition and I am now willing to release the pattern in my consciousness that is responsible for this condition. 